Hey, it's Graham Hill from TreeHugger.com. Today we're going to talk about bikes. And today we're going to explore three different models and give them a test in the urban jungle. The first bike we're going to look at is the Strida. Very cool bike. It's 19 and a half pounds, about 800 bucks. The wheels are put together with magnets. You unfold and it's this big triangle. And then there's this cool little joint here. And this just fits in like that, boom. So extremely easy to put together. And a Kevlar chain, so like a rubber chain, so there's no grease whatsoever. I'm riding the Strida now, which is pretty great. It's a different feel, and it takes a little bit to get used to. It's got a very short wheelbase and small tire, so it's skittish. It moves around like a little sports car. But it's also very responsive. Double disc brakes, easy to stop, really, really high performance. And so I've got to say I'm really liking those. Picking a bike to commute on is really important. You gotta find something that really fits your needs because it's gotta be convenient, otherwise you're not gonna do it. The nice thing about this is it's really light and it rolls. And so I took it on the subway, no problem. You go through the turnstile, super easy. Now I wanna run a couple errands. So here we are, are in Whole Foods. The great thing about it is just sort of wheel it along, grab a bunch of stuff, throw it in the bag, and you're good to go. I'll mess around. So the second bike we're going to be looking at today is the Dahan. Dahan makes a whole ton of folding bikes, most of them in the $400 to $1,000 range. This one's around $600. A little heavier than the Strida, but still a very light bike. It doesn't fold up as compact. It's more square, and it doesn't roll. So now we're going to take the Dahan and give it a bit of a street test and see how this thing works. So this Dahan folding bike has sort of a ride in between the Strida and a normal bike. This one is has a longer wheel base, larger tires, so the ride's more comfortable. It's got eight gears and this cool grip shift thing, so lots more flexibility. The Strida only has one gear. This has like eight or nine, which is great. The brakes are not disc brakes, they're more normal brakes, and I gotta say, I really miss the disc brakes, because those are nice. So very comfortable to ride, lots of gears, so better for a high top end speed. Feels more like your normal bike, which is good. So I've always owned really crappy bikes because they get stolen and I didn't want to be stressed out about it. One of the nice things about folding bikes is not only can you put them in your apartment, but you can bring them into restaurants and stores, etc., and not be worried that they're out on the street getting stolen. So I've got the Dahan parked in here, and I'm able to sit here and enjoy my meal and not be stressed about my bike. So the third bike in this series we're going to look at is the Kalfi. It's a bamboo bike and it doesn't fold down. So here's the Kalfi. It's a real high performance machine, extremely light. The really neat thing about it and the sustainable aspect is that its frame is made of bamboo. So check this out, it's really cool. All bamboo, the whole thing. And so it's still very light, um, but, but very strong and a really good ride. Bamboo is great because it's much more sustainable than other materials, particularly steel. So it grows very quickly, it's renewable, doesn't use a lot of water, so really great material. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. So this bamboo bike is basically a super high performance machine. So it feels like a normal high performance bike does. It's very light and the ride is really nice because the bamboo is actually flexible and so it's a, it's, it's a nicer ride than even a metal or steel or carbon bike would be. It moves, it's a really, you've got, it's got really good brakes. It's got a great feel overall. This is a very expensive bike. It's like $2,500 just for the frame. So it's really fun to ride and definitely high performance. I'd love to take this off road and do some real again. Yeah. So today we looked at three models. Most important is getting something that fits you really well so you'll use it to the maximum amount. Good thing is there are lots to choose from, so get one and get right. <laughs>